Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So when setting up a, a computer, uh, you need some kind of storage device, typically. And uh, it's been known that a user could set up a, a RAID, uh, I guess. You can't really call it a RAID array, because isn't that somewhat redundant? Because I think array is, is the A in RAID. It is somewhat redundant. As it turns out, you can have RAID without doing an array of drives. Oh. Okay, so, so, so let's, let's dive into RAID 0 versus RAID 1. <clears throat> so RAID 1 is mirroring, which means that you have two drives and you put the same things on both of them. The advantage of that is you can say, I'm going to write this data, and then if one of the drives fails it will still be good. So redundancy. Right. It also has the advantage that you can read from it twice as fast, because while it takes twice as long to write, and it'll be slow for writing video to a disk or things like that, because you've got to write it to two places, when you read, you can say, give me the first bits off of this drive and the second bits off of this drive, and so you can read twice as fast. RAID 0 takes two or more drives, and stripes across them. So you, so go, you have one large, you see so you one get, large drive. So you get, th three. yes, if you have two one terabyte drives and you RAID zero them, you now have two terabytes that presents as a single drive. And if you had a five drive, you could have a five terabyte drive and it would be five times as fast for both reads and, as, and for writes as a single drive. So it'd be a lot faster. The downside is, if any one of those drives dies in a RAID 0, the whole thing is kaput. Wow. So, all of your eggs are in... Why would you do that? Why would you do a RAID 0, then? So, when you're capturing HD video uncompressed over HDSDI... Huge. You're, you're talking about hundreds of gigabits per second. And so, you need lots of drives in order to do that. And... If you're shooting, quote-unquote, live to tape, or you're trying to capture that file, you don't need it to last very long. So as long as the drive was good when you started, your only risk is that it fails just after you capture it and you're out the hour that you spent recording. The other possibility would be that you've got a database that the data doesn't change a whole lot, but you want to read a lot, so you set it up and you've got your database for doing all the reads out of the RAID 0, but you've got archived data on a more redundant system somewhere else. So it's really take the risk, get the speed. Okay, so then with a RAID 1, is it just between two drives, or could you have uh, multiple um, drives on a RAID 1 setup? According to the specification, you have twice as much... Um, data re write requirement as you have data. So in theory, you could have four drives, but that would really be JBOD, just a bunch of disks, mirrored. So it'd be a JBOD RAID 0, hmm. RAID 1, sorry. And we'll talk about other combinations in a minute.